A few years ago, I made a series of videos where I highlighted some of the most important ways that Taiwan was implementing changes to its agricultural industry in order to make it safer, greener, more efficient, and crucially, more environmentally sustainable. Through my research and filming, I discovered that Taiwan often goes above and beyond its call of duty and has taken great leaps to ensure that many of its industries are not only reaching, but also exceeding its sustainability goals, which have been implemented by the international community at large. In this ever-changing world, these topics of green living and sustainable food production are more important than ever. So today, I wanted to go back into the field, meet up with a few Taiwanese businesses, and see if they, and by extension, all of Taiwan, are still doing their part to help our environment. These are Easy Meat, a plant-based meat producer, All Packing, who specializes in compostable packaging materials, and Wonder Greener, a company aiming to solve the one-time use plastic straws problem by making their straws entirely out of grass. It doesn't get much greener than that. So welcome back to my channel everybody. My name is Wes Davies and let's go out and see how Taiwan is reaching its sustainability goals in 2024. Speaking of sustainability, I am here at the Easy Meats food production facility and I'm here with Brian who is the marketing supervisor here and we are going to go deep inside this facility and figure out exactly how they make these absolutely delicious smelling spicy wontons. And everything here is vegetarian, by the way. So I am super, super excited to see how these delicious looking wontons are made. And then we are going to learn a little bit more about how Easy Meats adheres to the international standards of agriculture sustainability. So thank you so much for meeting with me, Brian, today. You can, you can. We can try later though. Yeah, spicy we're gonna try these later yeah. and you're gonna show me around the factory a little bit. Let's go inside. It's all about cleanliness here, making sure we're wearing all the proper safety equipment and and especially we don't want to contaminate any part of the factory inside. So this will disinfect our feet and then the air shower is to get rid of dust. Yeah. As in any production facility, cleanliness and decontamination is always key. Once inside, I got to see the inner workings of Easy Meat, which as a company produces a variety of plant-based meat products, offering the market new alternatives using soy protein as the primary ingredient. They cater to the growing meat demand worldwide. So this machine here scans every single product, a quality assurance technique, making sure that this product is exactly as advertised and as safe as possible. Today, the facility was set up for wonton making, and it was fascinating to watch how these famous Taiwanese delicacies were carefully made by automated machines using the finest vegetarian ingredients. Although it's a smaller operation, I loved seeing the passion shown by all the staff as they churn out box after box of these delicious meals. Typically, vegetable meat in Taiwan is usually made from soy and can often taste too beany. But Easy Meat specializes in making it taste more like the real thing through special seasonings and proprietary techniques. Let's go see how they taste. Okay, we are back. That was actually really amazing to see how everything here was made and it smells so good. And just so happens to be that today, they are making spicy wontons, which are some of my favorite food, although I've never tried the vegetarian ones. All right, this looks amazing. You would think that this was made by hand. I can't believe that it was made by all those amazing machines back there. Wow, that's actually vegetarian? If you just gave me that, I would think that that was a pork wonton. That's amazing. So do you eat this food all the time? Yeah, you too. You can try it. I think if I worked at this factory, this is pretty much all I would eat. And that's probably a good thing because from what I can tell, everything is very healthy, you know, full of vegetables and vitamins, nutrients, good ingredients. Actually, the mustard is really good. Can I buy a bottle of this mustard? And if any of you are interested in buying this product, just look for the Easy Meats logo and it is available in some 7-Elevens and PX Marts all around Taiwan. So I know personally, I'm going to be looking out for this because it is absolutely delicious. Mm. Well, it was so great to meet you today, Brian. Thanks so much for showing me around. And if any of you are interested in checking out Easy Meat, make sure you head over to the Food Taipei Mega Shows 2024, and we are going to the Tainex 2, fourth floor of the Future Food Pavilion. So I can't wait to see you there, and I cannot wait to try the rest of the food. Thanks so much, Brian. Now enjoy. Thanks. 
Next, I hit the road and headed to All Packing Enterprises, which is a Taiwanese company specializing in compostable, biodegradable, flexible packaging, shipping all around Taiwan as well as internationally. Their company policy revolves around responsible consumption and production techniques, highlighted by their unique energy monitoring system, which actually converts excess energy and production byproducts into useful resources, making their production system more efficient and, importantly, drastically lowering their carbon footprint. I met up with Eileen, who introduced their company and production floor. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming all packing. Oh, no problem. Eileen led me inside where she showed me the numerous quality guarantees, ISO certificates, and patents their company holds, and began teaching me how they produce sustainable packaging in order to assist their worldwide customers in achieving the global mission of energy conservation, carbon emissions reduction, and caring for the earth primarily by developing biodegradable and compostable packaging materials. Our compostable bags are uh, made from the uh, plants. So even if it does end up in the garbage incinerator, the material that's released mm -hmm. is still better for the environment? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've noticed that a lot of these examples that you've showed me, they're international brands. Have you found that more and more Taiwanese companies are actually starting to use your compostable and biodegradable packaging even though it might be a little bit more expensive but obviously better for the environment. I think it needs some time to maybe to educate and promote it to make the people just more realize the eco-friendly products can be good for our earth. And that's great though that now that maybe more and more Taiwanese companies are starting to consider this sustainable packaging, mm -hmm. there's a company like yours uh -huh. right in Taiwan mm -hmm. that they can look to for their mm -hmm. packaging solutions. Yes. They don't need to look internationally in order to find mm -hmm. compostable packaging mm -hmm. like this. Packaging like this, yeah. That's great. Right. Yes. Being compostable means a product can break down into natural elements without releasing harmful substances into the environment. All Packing's compostable packaging has been certified by DIN Certco in Europe and guarantees that it will decompose and disintegrate by at least 90% within 84 days. This, along with the energy monitoring system deployed within their factory, is all in agreement with the Paris Agreement, which mandates a 45% reduction in carbon emissions by 2030 and achieving net zero by 2050. Here we are deep in the heart of the factory itself. This is the top of the line 10 color industrial printer. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I'm just so impressed with the scale of operation that they have here. And I can see there are so many steps involving quality assurance, just making sure everything is perfect. What I love about All Packing is that not only did they create sustainable packaging solutions for their customers, but also their factory itself went through a $1.5 million USD technological modernization renovation in order to further reduce carbon emissions. This is done primarily through heat recovery equipment, which is able to trap excess heat and turn it into usable resources, such as air conditioning and cooling water for their printing machines. So one of the advantages of having such a sophisticated computer program is that it can actually track how much carbon footprint is being generated every single time they create a new package. So that's why on the actual packaging label, they can tell you exactly how much carbon was created, how much carbon footprint is left by this industrial process. And in fact, this is the leading company in all of Taiwan that has this technology. Of course, if you're interested in checking out all packing, you will find them at the Food Taipei Mega Shows Taipei Pack 2024, Tynex 1 fourth floor, and this will be at the packaging material area. You can go say hi, and they will be able to fulfill all of your sustainable packaging needs. What a wonderful tour. I learned so much, and that was so exciting. I've never seen anything like that before. Make sure to go check out all the information right down below, and now we're on to the next one. For our final stop of the day, we headed into new Taipei City to check out Wonder Greener, a relatively new startup company who is solving the one-time-use plastic straw problem facing the entire world by making their straws out of, well, grass. I have never heard of grass straws. I've heard of paper straws, yeah. plastic straws, but this is a first for me. All right, let's try it. It's a straw. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting. We all know what plastic straws are. They last forever, but that's one of the problems of plastic straws. Right. 
And then you've got the paper straws, which I love helping the environment, but paper straws can be a bit annoying, right? You have to finish your drink like literally in like 20 minutes. Right. And you have to rush to finish everything, otherwise it gets soggy. So I'm wondering about the durability of your grass straws here. We drink our coffee, water, tea in the office, like pretty much one day I just use one straw mm. and then it's still perfectly fine. But the good thing is uh, this is like 100% natural plant. So right. even if you throw it away, it's like it doesn't harm the environment. So after I finish it, can I just throw it in the garbage? This is um, again 100% natural grass. So like flowers, vegetables, they consider like green waste or mm. organic waste. You can actually throw them to your raw kitchen waste bin. That, I mean, that's it sounds so counterintuitive you can to take, take your straw and like just throw it in your garden. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, it's literally grass. Yeah, because it can naturally decompose, so it can contribute to your compost. And they're not treated with any chemicals or anything like that? No. This is the type of grass, like we cannot add any chemicals and then we cannot add pesticides. Elsa let me know that this idea came about around the time that the Taiwanese government started to ban single-use plastics. And to date, Wonder Greener has replaced over 6 million plastic straws with its 100% biodegradable and compostable grass straws. It's not a plant-based straw, it is a plant straw. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so that's, that's a really simple concept. I think it's ingenious. Yeah. If you grow it properly without using pesticides and everything, it's definitely sustainable agriculture as well. Exactly. We are corresponding to SDGs number 12, number 14, number 15, I would say, like sustainable uh, consumption and production because this is 100% natural material. So they can actually prevent a lot of plastic waste. I don't think people can actually quit straws. There is no need to change like the consumer behaviors. So we want more and more people to know like they have the information, they have the knowledge to know there is actually more like organic material and organic way to enjoy their drinks without using too much plastics. Our concept is really simple, like it's just 100% grass, one material. While much of the grass fields are currently in Vietnam, Wonder Greener has recently been finding suitable locations in Taiwan as well, which not only provides local farmers with more employment opportunities, but also increases the habitat zones for conservation species, such as the crab-eating mongoose and the Formosan gem-faced civet. And of course, if you are interested in learning all about these straws for yourself, do go over to the Food Taipei Mega Shows. That's the Taiwan Horika 2024 Tynex 2 Pavilion on the first floor. And go say hello to Wonder Greener. They will be happy to talk to you and teach you all about the grass straws here. So go check them out. Yeah, thanks for showing me around. Thanks. <laughs> and good luck. I think this is a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Thank you. Well, that's the video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And please do make sure you go and visit the Food Taipei Mega Shows 2024 events, which will take place this June 26th to the 29th at the Nangang Exhibition Center. This is your one-stop shop for the entire food and beverage supply chain industry and B2B in Taiwan. The main theme this year is healthy eating and active living. So go check it out and you can learn how all these great companies are doing their part to help the environment worldwide as well as right here in Taiwan. As always, I'll put everything in the links and description down below. So goodbye everybody and stay green.